Hello everyone, welcome back again. My name is Jesse and in this wonderful tutorial, we're trying to see how to fix this particular error. Object is not subscriptable in Python. So this, let's see what I mean and then you see how to work to fix it. So this is very common in case you are using Flux SQL Academy and then you create an object and then it's giving you this particular error. So let's see how to do that. I'm going to create a simple class and I'm going to call that my class user, right? Then this class is going to be initialized. So I'll initialize this particular class, which is going to take in self, and then let's give it a name of let's say none, and then an age, or let's say yeah, 20, an age of none, right? Something like that. So this is something very basic you have created. Perfect. So let's initialize it to self.name. It's going to be my name, and then self.age going to be age, right? Then let's create a representation to self. This is going to be my return. So user, right? Then let's get the ID or not the name and then the age dot, dot format. It's going to be myself dot name and then self dot age, right? That's very basic, right? So this is going to be used to replace these ones. Now, if I go back and I create an object, let's create an object. If I go back and I create this object, let's say object U, right, for user, then user, I pass in my name. So let's say pass in name Jesse. Everybody likes that name and my age. Perfect. Now, if I go with U, it's going to bring this particular presentation, right? Perfect. So everything works as expected, but you get the object is not subscriptable if you are treating this particular class as an as a dictionary. So if I go with this, if I want to call an attribute, right? If I go with user dot, no. so all of these things are the various attributes. If I go with user dot, let's say name, I'm going to have no error. Because I'm calling this as an attribute, right? But the moment I call it like a dictionary, so or I treat it as a dictionary, right? And I'm or which is going to be key and then value option. If I go with user and I go with name, because this is a class and this is an attribute, if I go with it's going to give us object is not subscriptable. See type error. So type error user object is not subscriptable. So the reason is given as this object that I'm treating it, right? I'm treating this particular stuff as a dictionary, right? Not as an attribute, right? I'm not treating it as an object. I'm treating it like a dictionary. So anytime you treat an, an object like a dictionary in this particular option, you're going to have this particular error. Very simple, right? So how do you fix it? So the simplest way to fix it is to always call it with this option. So this is the dot notation so dot notation synthesis right so if you do this it's always going to work but if you do it in this particular option which is going to be the bracket notation it's not because this is not a dictionary this is a object it's an object right so how do you fix it so this simplest way is that you, you call it this option that is how to fix it or in case you also want to use this one then you can also add another face so i'll copy the same thing that we had here copy this and i'm going to call it as user 2 so come back here so this is going to be a solution 2 right so this the same thing that we had now i'm going to add another function to it so diff get item so i go with get item self by going to get item self now i can now treat it like a dictionary so i'm going to pass in the key here right whatever thing i want to get Perfect. And from there, I can now return. So return self dot underscore underscore dit underscore underscore key. Right. So by doing by adding this particular function to this right to this our user, now we can treat it as both an object, and then you can also treat it like a dictionary right to get it out. So this is very important. So this is a fix for it. So I save it now. The same thing that we had. If I go back and create user two, user. I pass in the same name, so let's pass in my name, Jesse, and then the 
age 25 if i go back user 2 if i call it with the dot centers so you two dot name right we are going to get the jesse and if i go with you to the bracket name you're also going to get the result right so because i added this particular feature to it this item it's converting the entire stuff into additional so i can now call it using a dot sentence the attribute option or call it with the dictionary option so i run it again so now it has given us our solution right so so to fix this option this or error of user object is not subscriptable you should make the object subscriptable how do you do that so you do that by adding the get item dictionary option to it so this thing by adding this one to it now this particular object is subscriptable right so you can subscribe to it you can call it like a dictionary very nice so that is the basic understanding and that is how to fix it so thank you for watching the tutorial so in case you have any question or contribution you can put it at the comment section below and check our courses below the materials below for more and also there's also, i've also written an article on it so you can also read it out for reference so that is the basic understanding so the face for this is you call it as an object as an attribute using the dot sentence in case you want to call it like this you have to treat it like a dictionary by using the get item to make it subscriptable right this is it so this subscriptable via the dictionary right so get item underscore underscore right so this is what is used to make it subscriptable and then you can be able to fix it and treat it both as this and this so in case you're using class sql account you should always be adding this to your code in case you want to be able to call it like this and this so thank you for watching see you another time stay blessed